Six NFL teams are currently without a head coach. Some teams are in a better position and more appealing than others. Chris Lovett and I look at the most attractive job opening. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more NFL videos. So yeah, out of all the six job openings that are currently available in the NFL, in my opinion, the most attractive one might be actually the, the Jags. Like they have two first round draft picks and two second round draft picks and a lot of cap space. Like they have the most cap in the league. And obviously, potentially that number one spot, I mean, that's not beat around the bush. That's going to be Trevor Lawrence. And then you have some good young players like you have DJ Chark, who's a, an emerging wide receiver. You have Chenault as well as wide receiver. Then James Robinson with a great like rookie season as an undrafted running back. So there's a lot of potential there. Yeah, there's definitely some some potential there. Um, and you you kind of touched on what I think is probably maybe the the, the, the most attractive um, thing about this this opening. Um, the, the the Jags have four of the top forty five picks in this draft coming up. Um, obviously. One is is going to be Trevor Lawrence, um, but then they've got three other picks in the top forty five with which to, um, you know, build out that, that offensive line. Uh, I think that's definitely got to be the top priority for any coach or, or general manager that, that, that ends up um, going to to the Jags. Um, <clears throat> they they do still have other weaknesses on 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 that roster. You know, they have the second worst defense in in, in the whole NFL, um, but they also have the most cap room. So I think this is a very attractive job to somebody who's just going to come in and, you know, have a completely fresh start. Um, whoever it is that, that ends up getting this, this position is going to pretty much have reign to, you know, draft the quarterback of, of the future. There's a lot of cap to sign free agents, a lot of draft picks to, to draft players that, that fit that scheme. Um, yeah. I would definitely say this is definitely one of the most um, sought after jobs um, and yeah, it, it's pretty much got everything that, that, that you'd want um, as, as a coach coming in. And also, obviously, the, the kind of crown gem is being able to build your team around Trevor Lawrence and have him on a rookie deal for the next four or five years. Um, but yeah, yeah I, would, I would agree this is definitely one of the most attractive um, openings out there. Yeah, and apparently it seems like Urban Meyer has like kind of an inside track. Apparently they meet him today like on Friday and have a meeting with him, a longer meeting. He he definitely is a coach that would go well with that, like with a young team that kind of where you have to build your own team. You have a lot of capital to do that in the draft or in free agency. And he certainly knows how to lead a young team to victory. His record in college was 187 to 32 and obviously won two championships as well. So that would be very interesting. Yeah, with the... And the way he's been able to um, develop some some already top top um, NFL players, you know whether it's uh, Zeke, uh, Michael Thomas, the Bosa brothers, um, all of those coming from Ohio State when when he was there, um, and yeah, he would definitely be someone that you think would be able to get the most out of Trevor Lawrence and and really um, stamp his identity on 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 the Jags, and it's it's something they've been missing for for quite a while. Um, but yeah, Urban Meyer could could definitely be the guy who who would, would come in and do this. Um, yeah, he's, he's so experienced. He's got such good pedigree. And yeah, I think this is probably exactly what the Jags need. Someone like this, um, who's, who's yeah, just going to come in and, and transform them straight away. Um, and yeah, the, the, the situation is perfect for him to do that. Yeah, and then apparently some other like coaches on the radar of the Jags are obviously the offensive coordinator for the Chiefs, Eric Bieniemy, and Atlanta Falcons interim head coach, Raheem Morris, and then obviously Robert Sala, and even the, even as well like Jason Garrett, which I was surprised about. That I mean, he did a fine job with the Giants' offense, I guess, this season. But I just after his whole tenure in with the Cowboys, where he didn't really lead them anywhere, I'm surprised about that. Yeah, same. Um, and and I've I've also seen uh, Marvin Lewis getting some, um, you know, some some interest from some teams, and yeah, for. for I mean, we've seen those guys coach in, in playoff games. We've seen them coach for, for many seasons now with, um, you know, varying degrees of success, but never never anything substantial. Um, and I think if you're in the position the Jags are where, um, you know, you've pretty much got the perfect situation to rebuild, um, I think you have to go with someone uh, new, obviously, to, to, to the, the NFL game. Um, and, yeah, just really try and take a, 
a kind of new um, exciting angle on it um, I I would definitely be leaning more, more towards you know Maya Salah the enemy um, than, than any of those kind of older coaches it would make the Jags an attractive team to watch all of a sudden with Trevor Lawrence and a new coaching system and all of that so I'm definitely looking forward to see who's going to get that job and how they're going to handle Trevor Lawrence in the next season